we, we have a couple of customers, uh, high-end customers that are running the solution today. Um, what, one of the really good examples as far as how this was an easy, easy choice to solve the problem, uh, this particular customer had a lot of the challenges that we, we discussed earlier, wanting an Ethernet infrastructure rather than a fiber channel infrastructure. Um, not so much uh, around the cost of doing it, they wanted the infrastructure to live at a colo and extending Ethernet is a lot easier than extending fiber channel or, or much more cost effective. So putting an Ethernet infrastructure at a colo and having the creative seats at the main facility, uh, in order to do that, Ethernet was, the, was obviously the, uh, the, the most logical infrastructure to do this on. Uh, also, in, in, on top of that, the requirements to have diverse paths from the colo. So if, if one path failed, the other path can take over and, and continue running. Uh, again, Ethernet is built uh, to, to be able to do that very easily. Uh, so the implementation was Mellanox Ethernet on both ends, Accelero running on a Dell hardware stack with NVMe drives. Uh, this, this is in the range of 200 terabytes usable, uh, delivering up to six 3D streams of 4K uncompressed. Uh, so this is this was high, very high throughput requirements, very low la latency requirements, on top of an infrastructure that could auto tier between this uh, tier zero infrastructure, which is uh, how we've we've kind of looked at NVMe is uh, a tier zero. It's faster than anything we've used, uh, faster than anything we see on the horizon. So a tier zero that can auto tier back to your your lower cost spinning disk. Uh, this, this is a solution that we think and, and have proven uh, in the production workflow can solve these problems. Very high speed front end, tearing off cold data or data that hasn't been used in, in the last 30, 60 days and move that off to lower cost uh, solution and have it outside of the main facility at a colo where a lot of our customers are moving their infrastructure, uh, controlled environments, backup power, backup cooling, um, and allows them to actually keep a lower cost overhead for, for that infrastructure and get it out of the main facility.